actually the next day. Uh, we were here last night till almost, I don't know, 10, 30, 11. Cutting this shit out. And uh, it's looking pretty nice. It's looking really, really nice. And it's looking like a cockroach egg. See, we're in Texas, bud. You can't say cockroach. You gotta say cockroach. Cockroach. Because we're so close to Mexico that that's the way it is. So I'm going to go ahead and make my antenna basically something like this because I want it to be inside here, see, because we're going to have a lot of this shit going on and uh, so we got to have some of it welded on there. So we can't put it on the end here because if I put it on the end like that, what's going to happen? Do you got the fucking answer for that one? So now I'm going to take my head, if you look right here, now what I did on the head, we're not even done with it, but I took my plasma cutter. And I went ahead and cut out swirls in it, and that's just to represent maybe the eyes and, you know, part of the mouth shit. Now, right now, you can't see those, but once that starts rusting out, it's going to give it a real good definition of what that is. And in some spots, that was my door that closed. In some spots, I'm going to be able to pull it out like that, see? Do you see what I'm saying? Because I actually cut through deeper than I wanted to, and I did that on purpose, just so that'll pop out like that. Like I said, we're not really done with it. So I'm gonna take the head and I'm gonna kind of bend it, okay? Before I weld it on here, if you notice, that'll give it a ridge and it'll look like it's kind of a round looking, like a head, see? You look right there, look at there. Okay, so now we're gonna weld that on there. See, now we're gonna come back. We're gonna weld the head on. So uh, we're going to take the right leg and we're going to kind of put it uh, put it down here, see by his head, just like that. We're going to take the left leg, okay, we're going to go ahead and bend that, just like I did the other one, nice and curvy. And then this one here going to come down right here, see, so we're going to put that one underneath. Actually, we're going to put it on top because our body's going to cover that. Okay. Before we put the body on it, I'm going to go ahead and put the other legs on it. So now i got my uh, left hand middle side, and now you're really going to start seeing what it's starting to look like, see, put these on here, okay. Because this one here kind of uh, comes right out here like that, see. Well, this one's going to be right here, just like that. So then, we are going to take, we go ahead and take an inside wing, see? That's the inside one. That's actually the little one that you don't see as much. And, uh, that's on that side. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and give that a little bit of a bend. I don't know if you can see me way back here. I want it to look 3D, so I'm going to give it a little bit of a bend. And then I'm going to take this, see, like that. And this is actually going to go just like that, see. And uh, we're going to actually put this under the head, okay. We're going to go ahead and stick it under the head because the head is actually on top of the wing. The wing isn't on top of the hip, see. We're going to go ahead and follow our contour just like this. Okay, we're going to come up here. And now I'm going to weld that on there just like you see me doing. Now, we take our big wing. See that? That's the, that's the big wing. And I'm going to bend that the same way. Put a curve on it. Now it's starting to look like a giant cockroach, see? What I got to do is I still got to take my antennas, just like you see me doing here. See there? And I'm going to take this one and bend it out this way. Just like that. Okay. 
And then what I still got to do, besides all that, I got to put all my detail, okay? I still got to put all my detail in it with my plastic cutter, which I'm going to do right now. Okay, here we go. Now we take the plasma cutter. And now, I'm going to put that some fine detail in. I'm going to fine detail the cockroach. giant cockroach, okay? You can see the detail in it that I put in there. So when that all rusts out, what's gonna happen, these uh, marks that I put in it are gonna be even darker. Okay, here you go. They're gonna be even darker in rust color, so it'll make it even look better. Well, we just got done with our cockroaches, and uh, let's go see what they look like, okay? All right, so there you go. Uh, those are five feet long, and with the antennas, okay. And if you look right here, you can see this half of one I cut off because that's actually going to be coming out of the ground. And you got the antennas going whichever way. But uh, yeah, those things there, wow. They kind of look like mechanical, robotic cockroaches right now. Okay, but you give them a week or two, and they're going to be rusted out. It's fucking crazy. It's a fucking crazy situation. But the situation has been handled. Uh, this took approximately 10 and a half hours, 12 hours total to do all this. Maybe even longer than that. I got a little tired of doing it right in the middle of it and I almost said fuck it. I almost said fuck off. I'm not doing it. Fuck that. Because if you look right here, okay, I got jobs in my shop, see? I got jobs in my shop that I gotta work on, okay? But you know what? I can sit here and work on this shit 24 hours a fucking day. Sometimes I got. Sometimes you got to stop and say, you know what? It's time to do something for me, okay? It's time to fucking get her done for me, all right? Uh, everybody else is fine and dandy, but what about me, you know? Right now my eyes are squinting because I got a hell of a headache. It's uh, 97 degrees in uh, mid-October out here. I'm going home. Okay, stop what you're doing. If you're a hard-working motherfucker, okay, or you you know you help everybody out all the time, like I do, sometimes you got to take a break and say, "Fuck it, this one's for me." This is Pete. We'll see you later. We're gonna be getting a look at those when they're hung up on the wall, but not today. Bye. got Mr. Uh, barbecue Smoker guy here, so uh, he's going to help us uh, hang our cockroaches up, okay? We got them a little bit looking a little bit rusted, let's go check those out, and we're going to let nature take its course on them, and in about two or three months, they're going to really, really look awesome. So if you look right there, okay, that's from sitting overnight. And uh, what we did, we cleaned all the metal off with some uh, vinegar water and stuff like that, you know, to get them started. And uh, from there on, it's going to be rusted out. So uh, let's go around the corner. You see the hose already hooked up. There's my car coming out of my building. Whoa, shit. those cockroaches right there on that wall right about there
cockroaches. 